what's the best way to keep a gratitude journal? Okay, so one thing I'd say is um, keep it keep a gratitude journal handy. Like uh, a lot of people have gratitude journals that they'll write what they're grateful for at the end of the night. And I highly, highly, highly recommend this. It's a beautiful way to put you off into the world where you're like releasing your spirit in the dream world to just let yourself feel that gratitude. And it kind of lets it be in your subconscious and in your psyche for yourself to revel in, in the nighttime. Also just waking up in the morning and taking a big, deep breath of gratitude, very, very important. But for a gratitude journal, I say, keep it handy, which I mean, get a little one of those kind of like flip pad notebooks, nothing that you're gonna have to keep in this little sacred space and, and away from the rest of your life and have it if you can fit in a pocket or in your glove compartment or in places that you find yourself often in your pocketbook and just, jot down things that you're noticing that you feel grateful for, because that will align you with a life where you're alert to the graces of life that you are meant to be grateful for. And it could even be being in a state of ease while you're in traffic or being in a place where you didn't overreact when somebody else did something unconscious, letting yourself find yourself, you know, whispering a little, prayer for them if they seem to be in a bad mood. Being in a state where you're constantly offering yourself an opportunity to recognize what gratitude feels like is so important. So with a gratitude journal, um, have one that you can make that is a beautiful little book that you could have by your bedside and that isn't a little sacred space then get a down and dirty one like life and just have one that you have in a pocket or that you throw around and have, but you, you have it handy to be able to mark the graces and gratitudes in your life and to mark the miracles. Because once you're in a state of gratitude, you're going to find that there are a lot more miracles evident, really beautiful way to tap the miraculous because you're much more in alignment with the divine when you're in gratitude. It's a state of grace. It just walks you to the door of awakening. And when you're in that state of grace, miracles are at hand always, and they will absolutely litter your path in, in the best way. So that's the way I, I personally have a gratitude journal where I got my down and dirty one with me that I just mark the miracles and mark the graces and feel grateful for things in life. And then have one that you just can open up at any time, especially gratitude journals are really important for people who have a tendency to kind of have ebbs and flows in life and, and dips and rises and can find themselves um, in a place where they feel challenged by things like depression or um, things in life that could feel like they take you down. Having a gratitude journal that you have just, you know, cherished and loved and used in times where you are feeling like you're on an even keel, opening that up will remind you in those times when you're in a dip. So it's a beautiful tool to keep you in a place where you're much more cognizant of what you deserve in life and what the divine wants to give you in life. You know, just getting out of your own way allows the divine to give you gifts and graces. And it'll really help you to be able to lift yourself up at times when you feel that you're not necessarily feeling very connected.